Hello there, I am Dr. D2 and welcome back to Ultra Despair Girls. I forgot to equip this skill, so yeah, done now. Cool. So, um, we've just been finally told, or she's been told, we've known since the beginning, that she's going to explode as she tries to leave the city. So she is no longer going to try to leave the city. Finally, she's now going to use her weapon, which she is the only person in the entire city to have a weapon that can fight against these robots, to actually fight the robots. Maybe now, you know, the hell? Why is there a sleeping Monokuma on the floor? Oh well. I always, it always bugs me that these characters that have the only means of fighting back don't fight back. Are you sure we can get out that way? Um, I don't know. Th th then why are you going that way? Let's just go back the way we came. We've been the way we came. There's nothing over there. I preferred it when it was debris that randomly disappeared. At least then there's a reason you're not... Gee, game, thank you for that. There's too many of them. It's too dangerous to go that way. Then what should we do? Don't ask me. I'm not your personal GPS. S sorry, you're just so reliable, I thought I'd ask. Reliable? Well, well it is true that my brain is far superior to yours. Now, let's see. It might be better to head back underground for now, to find another exit. Back through the underground? Are you sure you're okay with that? What do you mean? I mean, you're afraid of the dark, aren't you? The underground is pretty dark. Shit! Oh! Are you trying to be an example? To show me how to go forward, even if you're scared? I see. As expected of a true mentor. Uh. I hate when they tie it in the sequence so hard. I don't know what that says. I don't know what that says. They're probably like classic like lines about being <laughs> Why is I'm not gonna question it. Oh. Thank you. Tutorial time. Looks like you have obtained knockback. As you might have guessed, knockback can knock back Monokumas. It's short range and doesn't do damage, but its effect more than makes up for that. Like removing the shields to guard Monokumas. Or knocking back a bomber Monokuma to make him self-destruct where he lands. If you use it right, this truth bullet can have some really powerful effects. Use it on the various Monokumas to learn more about its effects firsthand. All right, thanks, kid. Is that a new kind of bullet? This looks pretty useful. But this gun belongs to Future Foundation, right? So why are the kids giving me bullets? I, I, I guess maybe there might be some kids in the group who want to support us. Huh? Support us? But who cares about that right now? Let's just look for the exit. Yeah. You mean some kids in this group might realize that wanton murder is not the way to go, but have to pretend to go along with it anyway so that they don't get killed by the other kids? Gee, who would have thought? It's that shield guy again. Counter it with the new ammo. Okay. Why are these bloody and those aren't? Back! Nope. It's a range like a shotgun. Alright then. I like it. Yay! The shield is so strong. 
sturdy. Is it Gelalumen? It's Duralumen. Okay. I don't. It doesn't matter what it's made of. You're hitting it with sound and programs. Of course, it's not going to destroy it. The only reason the thing kiss destroys them is because it sends programs into their head. We didn't need an explanation for that. Okay. Just too much. Out of the question. This creepiness is just out of the question. Isn't it just going to get darker if we keep going? Is it really going to be okay? It's probably going to be fine. Oh, you suck at cheering people up. Can't you choose your words more wisely? Well, I'm sure you're just laughing at me in your head, thinking I'm just some scared little girl. I'm not laughing about it. I don't like dark places either. But honestly, for some reason, I feel at ease. Why do you feel at ease? You enjoy taking pleasure in other people's suffering? My suffering tastes delicious and you're planning on a four course meal, huh? You sure have a bitchy personality. You're the type to talk trash at a wedding, aren't you? I, I didn't mean it like that. I just mean that I'm sure you're working hard too. Of course. Even I'm at my limit. I'm scared of blood and the dark, and I'm just so tired, but th there's no choice but to do it. I'm not some crybaby, whiny, airheaded girl. Whiny crybaby? What? Yeah! Yeah! What? What was that? S sorry. I tried to scare you, but then your reaction scared me. Huh? You really are an idiot. I was just trying to ease the tension a little. Yeah, well, now I'm more afraid of your stupidity than the dark. Oh, sorry. So let's go into the dark then. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the fact that this game is forcing me to just follow the sequence they have, so... So in tightly. A shopping district underground like this? What was the administration thinking? Maybe it's subtle political satire? <laughs> I like that. That's sad. Stop poking the body. Um. The children playing with the bodies. They're different from the ones who give us items. They look the same, but something's definitely different about them. Well... Just like adults, some are good, some are bad. Don't waste time thinking about it. Then do you think the ones who help us know it's wrong to kill adults? But now that you mention it, didn't, they didn't you tell me before that they seem like they're under orders? And didn't I tell you it's a waste of time thinking about brats who've gone insane? If you have the energy to think about nonsense, use that. Or to think about nonsense like that, use it for picking up your pace. Sorry. Can't help but wonder about it. How, if, if you, we just had a big cutscene where you were complaining about how dark it was. Don't talk to me about pace. Hey kids. Where are these Monokumas coming from? Oh, hi. Let's see what this does. I like it. Hey, no dodging. Hey, wait, I, I was checking something in between. Um, what was it? Um, yeah. No, no. Here we go. Wait, not here. Here we go. Um, Science Memorial Hall and Unknown. Okay, so I'm still thinking I might be able to find these guys ahead of time. I don't know what the Science Memorial Hall is, but... Teenage girl might be in a shopping center? Hey, that's an item. Uh, Children's Paradise Commandments 2. 1. Wash hands before a meal. 1. Playing video ga play video games no longer than 8 hours daily. 1. If you ever feel like you are showing signs of reincarnating into a demon, 
Take responsibility and end your own life. Anybody who breaks the rules will suffer the punishment. Hold hold in their poo all day after a big barbecue. Ah! You guys have good rules. That's rules number two, though. That means there's a rules number one I might have missed. Stop poking the bodies! It's so... You're air humping the body. And you're filming it. This is so wrong. That this this is that is that is wrong. I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that. Because that is these are kids. These are kids doing this. These this is a girl air hump what this is a girl filming two boys air hump a female corpse. In that position. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I just want to call that out and never reference it again. Good. It's probably going to be the video at the end of the clip. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Toko, I think we can get out from those stairs. Y you're right. Let's head over there. Oh, how inconvenient. All these bottomless pits that just happened to spawn right in between us and our goals. Um, hey, UFO. Thank you for the ammo. There it is. Monokuma. Alright then. It seems to be better to hit them right in between the eyes instead of the actual red eye. Hey, that's a door. That's stuff. This door looks promising for stuff. It's giving me a little bit more room to explore, which I'm liking. However, now we're gonna get another book review from Taco. Toko. Taco. I like that name. Nah. Various regrets of company life. Messing up at work, at work, rocky relationships. If only I had done some things differently. If only I could go back to that day. Have you been looking to the past lately? What you need is to master disappointment. Because you haven't been able to properly attain ultimate disappointment, you will forever be stuck in the past. Acquire the skill of disappointment so that you may finally begin looking towards the future. A guidebook to life that shines upon tomorrow. Written by an author who has seen so much of the world living in a pharmacy until the age of 10. What's wrong with being disappointed? Tomorrow for tomorrow's sake. I don't really like books like this. I feel like I'm being scolded or something. So vulgar. Right off the bat, the introduction is pretty fishy. Tomorrow and future and you. I can't believe how often I used to get suckered in by books like this. <gasps> so you do read this kind of stuff, huh? I thought you were all about pure literature. Nothing. I mean, in the past, I perused some when I was, when I was a weaker woman than I am now. Does nonfiction cl get classified under literature? I don't know. It seems more like a self-help book, which I don't classify as it, as literature. Hmm. A weaker Toko. I can't even imagine it. To me, you're always a strong person who never gets depressed. Have we met the same character? Hmm. No, I'm not really strong. Not deep down. But if I look strong in your eyes, then I guess that means I've grown a little. I see. Grown, huh? I gotta do that too. You're right. Good idea. You're pretty annoying the way you are right now. Aww. You didn't even try to sugarcoat that. But... If you want to change, now's the perfect time for it. Or maybe it's that, in a time like this, you have to change. Hmm? I have to. Imagine being locked inside a closed space with your classmates and forced to murder them. Whether you want to or not, you change. Not that that could ever happen. Ever. I can't even imagine that, but our current situation is just as unbelievable, really. I guess I, re I do really have to change. Just be sure you don't change for the worse. And Toko, that thing you mentioned earlier about killing your classmates? What? Amazing! That's such an interesting concept! What a cool setting! You should be a writer! Ironically, Battle Royale is one of my favorite stories. Alright. 
Let me guess. You're gonna point that way. Ah, thank you for the useful information. That's a door. That's, a do that's an item I'm gonna need. Which means I gotta find the other door, which is right here. This door is locked. Can I get in there? I wanna get up there. It's a monokuma! Don't come near me! It's a tad annoying that I can't use the, um... Back. Nope. I can't use the... Oh, hey, save point. And a door. I can't use the... Oh, I can! Never mind! The number buttons this do work. door is locked! I thought the number buttons didn't work for... the ammos. Money. Save point. And since I can't get through that door and I can't get through those doors, we're going through this door. The game corner again? You gotta learn to follow patterns. That's the same door as it's been every time. Bullet. We can defeat them all in one go. Yep. All right. Probably gotta use the knockback I was just taught about. I didn't actually think you would send them that far. That's. Very helpful. Although it's probably only going to be for rooms like this and not ever any a real combat situation. Game doesn't seem to really want to give you actual combat tests. Just... I need to blow that up eventually. Just little sequences like that. Hey, I remember that door. Okay, so I need to blow this up eventually. Probably going to find something to blow that up later. Don't need that. That voice sounded familiar. Another Monokuma? That's surprising. I never figured robots would have internal discord. <sighs> I thought I was gonna die. Ah! It, it talked. Ah, don't be scared. It's okay. I'm not a particularly suspicious bear. I'm a nice bear. The kind of bear who would give my opponent the corner in Othello. Oh, Maru, what are you doing? Hurry up and shoot this thing! Y yeah Wait! Please don't shoot me! I promise you'll understand if we just talk it out. Ta 
talk? Why are you even talking in the first place? I have an AI inside me. I'm different than the other Monokumas. AI? Artificial intelligence? It's inside you? That's right. I can think and reason. I won't run amok like those other bears. I'm your ally. Look, I'm all white, see? <laughs> I'm a white bear, so I'd like to be called Shirokuma. You know, it's kind of cute. <laughs> Don't be fooled. It's more unnatural if it's all white. It's like a curry plate without the curry. Don't say that. We can be friends. I want to be friends with as many pretty ladies as possible. P pretty? Hmm. He may look suspicious, but I can see he has a pretty good eye. Toko gets easily fooled too, huh? That's right. I have a good eye for judging character. For example, just by looking at your face, I can guess the time and date of your first kiss. Huh? Oh, what a horrifying function. It's horrifying? I mean, if you can tell that about the first kiss, then you should know other firsts, right? If he uses that power, he can mercilessly expose frauds who claim to be virgins. Huh? Girl power is mostly from virginity. This is why so many girls try so hard to be seen as virgins. But if we have this one's power, we can uncover the misdeeds of those fraudulent career women. There's no mistaking it. This power can change the world. Uh, I was just giving an example. And what does this have to do with our current situation anyway? I guess you're right. I got a little heated there. By the way, what are you guys doing in a place like this? Fragile girls wandering around a dangerous place like this is a big no-no. What? Are you going to lecture us now? It's not our fault. We don't know where to go. I see. So you're drifters. Girls driven into a corner with nowhere to run. I really hate how the mouth moved. Just very unnatural. Never thought about it before. If that's the case, leave it to me. I can take you to a safe place. Huh? A safe place? Oh, that's quite suspicious. It's something a kidnapper would say. You went through a lot up till now, so you have trouble trusting people. I understand. But the world is also full of amazing people. You don't have to be so pessimistic. Sorry, but words coming out of a Monokuma's mouth aren't exactly persuasive. Hey, where is the safe place you're talking about? Full disclosure, there's a secret base here underground where adults are living and hiding. S secret base? Did you hear that, Toko? A secret base! With adults gathered there! We should go there too, right? Hey, what do you think? I mean, what should we do? E even though it was hard enough to find an exit, you want to keep going through the underground? Uh, but it's dangerous to use those stairs. There are tons of Monokumas lurking around the exit. Huh? See? So wouldn't it be a smarter idea to find the secret base? That doesn't mean this guy's telling the truth. He is a Monokuma, after all. I just want to save you. If you come with me, you can see whether or not I'm telling the truth. You hear that? What do we do? If you think we shouldn't, then I'll go with you. But logically, this is the best option, right? This is the kind of chance that, like, 100 out of 100 people would take. Just be honest and say you want to go. Jeez, you're annoying. Uh, fine. You want me to go? Then I'll go. Right. Then let's do that. All right. I'll lead. So follow me. Yeah. I'll leave it to you, Shirakuma. Jeez, you're 
You're a terrible navigator. Not exactly leading either. That way is dangerous. Come on, follow me to the secret base. At least that's not intrusive like the other one was a unnecessary cutscene. So let's see, nothing here. We got a door over here that probably locked. No. Yes. It's no good. It's locked. No problem. Leave it to me. Leave it to you? What are you gonna do? What? It went inside. And it came out. Ta-da! It's unlocked now. Amazing! That's a pretty convenient body. A convenient body? That's a pretty strange way to put it. Hooray! That means that's the way to go, so I'm gonna go get the other doors first. I like the touch of it being something that, um... Whereas the bunny was like just a new design that got changed, this one is just the normal bear, but they're they're trying to cover up the black parts. This area must have been flourishing too. It is a nice touch. Thank you, Bear. You are useful. I'm a little worried I won't get you for that long, so I need you to open these doors now. Wow, that's a lot of bodies. It's a lot of bodies. So cruel. How can they be so cruel? They? You're the same as them. Okay, so I am gonna meet them. Medium-sized demon with super good physical ability, wears long shorts to look cool to kids. When hunting, lower its guard with its favorite food, sweet bean jelly. And once its guard is and once once it lets its guard down, go for the legs. Use your special attack when it crouches down and holds its legs. Or let them try to escape, in which case they explode. One more time, bear. Lots of bodies, but no killers. I think just the occasional single Monokuma in here, just to add a little bit of like reason for all of this would be good. Or even a single kid poking him with a stick. Oh, what skill is this? Wrong button. There we go. Uh, raise. Number of mana coins obtained increases slightly. I got plenty of room for these skills, so why not? Now there's a violence happening. Wow. Okay, got exactly what I asked for. Have fun. Jack makes that stuff pretty simple. And then once we get... And with everything saved now, 
we are out of time. So, we have a new ally, we have a new skill, we have new items, we are being handheld to some places, like, I really hate that, why make, just let me go ahead, put the item past that gate. We don't need a cutscene for every little thing. It's one thing I don't like about this series, the fact that even until the very end, you have tutorial after tutorial for every new feature. Hmm. Oh well. I mean, granted some of the features are enough, but... We don't see other shooters giving us a tutorial for every gun we get. Ah yeah, well. Thank you very much for watching. Sorry about this little rant just now. But for the otherwise, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you next time. Later.